Hi, my name is David Eridosi, and in this video I want to show the last feature of Main9. Uh, what is Main9? Main9 is a set of uh, uh, scripts, preferences, and plugins for Maya 2016. Uh, the last release is the 1.5.2, is a hotfix of 1.5.1, and I want to show you the uh, the feature of these uh, two last releases. If you go in the change log, you can read, you can, you can find this one. Of course, this is out fix. Um, uh, it's missing a new market menu, so I have uh, created an oxy for that. But as you can see here, I have had a lot of uh, new elements in in 1.5.1. This is because uh, um, I don't I have a lot that a lot of elements I have using only 1.1 because I have do not had any third party elements uh, like uh, some previous uh, some previous version, but only um, two I have do by myself uh, and uh, some improvement of already existing uh, uh, workflow. Um, uh, first of all, I have added the support to the Maya uh, ton. Uh, on PowerPoint effect, uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, to Maya Tune uh, uh, paint effects. What's what's Maya Tune are? Uh, Maya Tune era is a not uh, uh, not photorealistic render that lets you using the um, cartoon shade mode. So uh, in, in, in the cartoon shade mode, I will show you immediately. You can create a polygon sphere. Uh, right now I want to use a cube, press 3 to view the, the, the subdivision mode and from here I can press Z, right mouse button, uh, there is a new menu called shading, from here you can create a, a new material from all the material you have already installed in your Maya or you can use this 3 press setting on about the uh, the, the the tune uh, the tune render. I love the circle highlight. It is because it lets you have a, a highlight point. So now I can create a light. So I press Z, a left mouse button, direction light. Press seven to have the preview of the light. And so as you can see, uh, this create a very very manga, very uh, cartoon like, uh, um, anime like uh, point. Uh, and in shading, um, this is for recreate. So, for, of course, I want to increase my smoothness of this surface to see better. Well, yeah, and that's a little bit better now. So, so, I think this is very, very, very useful. I can change, of course, so that the, from uh, shading mode to another one. I can the three point and this uh, without uh, specular highlights. Uh, or of course you can uh, in, uh, can uh, of course uh, uh, change. This is um, th this shader is uh, is a ramp shader, a standard Maya shader, a color ramp shader. From here you can change the colors. Uh, and um, I think so. If you already work a little bit uh, on. Uh, on uh, on Maya Shade Network and so and you know a little bit uh, this kind of stuff I think so it's very 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 simple change the way of this work of course in this case uh, everything is related to this slide let's see if I press uh, five again sorry five again yes now uh, is it, uh, the light is on the camera so you can see here. Very very good, hmm? very simple. Uh, I have added, uh, added the outliner too, so I can press my elements, press three again under shading. Uh, I have added the outline. Uh, what the outline is? Uh, sorry, there is a little problem. Uh, probably I not uh, I not click in the right way. Shading had tune outline. Yes, um, as you can see here. Oh yeah. That's a problem about the subdivision surfaces and the outline. So I need to use a real geometry. So I create uh, in a fast way a sphere and uh, uh, want to smooth um, a little bit more. And now, of course, I can uh, reapply 
and the shading, uh, the cartoon shading, and uh, reapply shading uh, the tune outline. Uh, as you can see here, there is a paint paint effects. This is a paint effects uh, elements. I can uh, increase the line um, the, the line width, uh, and uh, as you can see now, around my object there is a very dark uh, edge uh, that's uh, representing the the the, the, the border um, based on the angle and um, as you can see if I create new geometry it continue to update uh, and I think so it's a very very powerful way to uh, to work to have this kind of effects uh, on the non realistic uh, non photorealistic rendering inside of inside of Maya oh uh, well what well, I'm to enjoy. Of course, there is a murky menu for this line too, so I press select the, 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 the border and now I can, for example, add uh, convert to poly, uh, assign a paint effects uh, to the outline of the elements, or I can create a modifier. Modifier is an object uh, that lets you um, change the some parameter of, uh, of this uh, to create a um, a non photorealistic um, animation, for example, or if you want to make a, a rendering of, uh, of um, some kind of uh, a structure, uh, abstract structure, or if you want to mimic uh, a draw effect for architectural render, this can be, of course, a great element. You can change. Uh, some parameter from here, the, the width scale, the offset. Uh, um, so I think it's the line, uh, line extend, I loved it. It's create a great effects. Uh, for example, if I go to 10, uh, it uh, extend the line outside of the of the of the of the geometry. So this is very 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 su suggestive way to work with this kind of form. All right. Um, a support to legacy space. I make a video for that. Uh, there is a, sep a separate video for that. Um, uh, yeah, uh, this is very interesting. Uh, Mill mouse support to MM2 key. Uh, as you can see, I using um, as you know, I use uh, MM2 key to have to create. Uh, uh, a contextual out key or contextual American menu, uh, but I use a, a custom version one that have uh, some additional feature. But in this case, I have programming by myself uh, the ability to use the middle mouse button. I have already mapped the middle my the middle mouse button to the Maya window MM. I want to show you immediately. Uh, as you probably see, if you have C some video before, uh, some, some previous video about me, and you know, I can go, I can deselect everything, press Z and the right, my, right, my, right mouse button to have access to this menu. From here I can, for example, opening uh, the information about the sheen, change the layout, uh, and from this version, ability to select el all elements in the sheen. But what's the problem about this menu? Why I have I have never be uh, really satisfaction uh, satisfied from this menu. This, this is because uh, every time uh, I need to check uh, that not is in selection, and this can be a problem because if I select a sphere or an object like this and press the and right mouse button, I have the modeling the, the polygon murky menu. So now from the last release if I press Z and the middle mouse button I have access to the same menu but there is a little bit different. This selects similar. So if you not have selecting anything of course you can select all but if you are selecting an element you can select sorry by using middle mouse button you can select similar and this is a very powerful feature. Look at this. If I create a sphere again, and now I select uh, a edge loop, uh, and I want to select the same edge loop in the other side of the sphere, I can press Z, middle mouse button, select similar. Very, very fast. Of course, if I select these two elements, two, or three elements, one, two, three, every time there is a, a join in between, press Z, middle mouse button, select similar. 
very very powerful way for select elements in a contextual way and I think so I never used this feature before but I think so it's a very powerful way uh, of course uh, if I have uh, a joint in sheen I want to select all the joints I can uh, make two things or I can use the select hierarchy in this case, I select the joint, Z, right mouse button, select hierarchy, or I can use in my middle mouse button and uh, uh, select uh, all the similar object. Uh, what a difference is in this case in a, is an hierarchy, but if I have two time two hierarchy, of course, the select similar, let me select the hierarchy of the two elements, and I think so, it's, it's uh, can be useful sometime. All right, great. Um, the next one, what's improved the neural, neural modeling? I have created a video about this. You can find on the channel of the main nine channel. Of course, in the in the link below, you can download main nine. And uh, in the and as you can see here, you can you can use this um, main nine hotkey uh, and com sorry um, improved per and particle workflow. Yeah. I have had a little bit uh, more command about these two elements, for example, not cursive sphere. Now I go under Z, right mouse button, dynamics, fill object with particle. I want to add my, add my elements, I have my particles. Now I can use the Z as contextual uh, hotkey to entering in the particle mode. This is a new feature of 1.5.1 and, and, and and above, and uh, when I use this, I select this virtues uh, vertex, uh, so I'll show this particle, I can choose Z, right mouse button, this is a new one, I can I can add the fields, or I can use a class deformer for move my uh, particle. Another element I have had to this release is the ability to Z, left mouse button, object, particle tool, so I have uh, the drawing particle tool. I think so. It's very, very interesting, very, very fast way to create some particle. Of course, I press Z to entering. I can add the cluster. Uh, so no, yeah, I can. You, you can use the lat lattice too. Um, so I think so, sorry. Uh, mm, you can use the lattice, uh, lattice uh, deformer too. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right, something don't work. Control Z to come back. All right, mm, very good. I can use the lattice deformer, but I now I use only the cluster one. Of course, uh, if I remove uh, this cluster here and now select my particle, now I can use my lattice deformer uh, to move around the the, the particle. Um, very interesting uh, uh, new way to interact in main in main nine to interact with uh, with elements like particles. Uh, ah, yeah, uh, main nine of keys uh, and commands are now categorized. I I, I create a video for this uh, uh, for this tool in the channel. Uh, why I have I have categorized the, the main nine command of key because uh, there is uh, I have uh, uh, the. You have made me a request. Uh, how is possible merge uh, two different configuration? Oh, I want to add my hotkey to the to the standard one, uh, to the main nine one, or this, or add uh, my hotkey to the standard one. So uh, actually, Maya do not have a fully integrated uh, multi-user system to switch back and forth. But uh, in in the video I have uploaded on channel on the on merging configuration, I show how via ML code you can do that. Uh, so, if, if you are interested to take this kind of uh, modification to main nine, please uh, go to the channel and, and see the video. Uh, now, how new tool have NURBS output? This is really, really, really important because the, in the previous version, uh, when you create and use NURBS tool, for example, uh, I will show you a fast way, control vertex here. Uh, create a circle, select circle, circle elements, extrude, right bit. Um, before this release, uh, these elements will be output as, as polygon, but um, 
I, 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 I try in the last release to match more the the standard my com, the standard my my behavior for May nine. So um, as you, as you probably you know, uh, in, in this version the color of the icon determinate a kind of uh, the the type the typology of elements. So the blue indicate the NURB surfaces, the orange, the polygon surface. So I try to match this kind of behavior. And uh, because in this release I have really, really, really uh, 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 increased the work, the the the, the, uh, the elements of the workflow in main nine for subdivision sub surface, I have, I have made this decision to use only uh, uh, exit only in in, in NURBS. Of course, you can uh, convert to, to poly. There is no problem about that. Um, good. Um, of course, there is a, a little bit of problem about this. This is because when you want to create a text uh, inside of non-extension version of Maya, if you, you try to use uh, um, Bevel Plus to create this kind of letter, uh, there is no good, uh, no good outputting. It's, it's, um, it's uh, it outputting as uh, as uh, null surfaces, but as you can see, the shading effects is not so interesting. So I have decided to add a workaround on T's, and if you select an element, so now I have add new. Uh, bevel plus for text. Uh, as you see here, I have used our orange icons because uh, this outputting as uh, as polygon, and this is a uh, presetting that lets you create uh, a very good shape uh, polygonal letter directly uh, from this command. As you can see, I have spent a little bit of time to make good division and make a good. Uh, um, uh, sorry, um, make it good balance from uh, uh, the, the, the cap, uh, the bevel, and the extrude, uh, extrude elements. Uh, remember, if you want to create uh, a letter with a hole, you need to select before the out, the out curve, after the, 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 the inside curve, and uh, make another bevel, and so on and so forth. So, as you can see, I try to increment uh, a lot the behavior of course i can use the g to repeat the command and this is a little more faster um, if you not have the ex extension version if you don't have the the new type tool um, of course and so um, i the a good way to extrude the logo vector logo or a text with standard 2016 version is a good. After that, I can select all this stuff. Uh, I can go in the channel box, uh, and from here I can change uh, the sorry <laughs> the, the parameter of the beveling, uh, the type of beveling, and so on and so forth. So I think so. It's very very good way to shaping the lettering, the standard lettering directly inside of of Maya standard version. Um, well, uh, there is a lot of bug fees, as, as always, and I think so. It's um, it's very, very, very good, uh, good release. This one. Thanks for uh, for follow this video. I think I hope you find useful, and bye.